Woo, woo, woo. What's going on, everybody? Eric here again with another review. As promised, you know, we sticking with the weekly uploads now. I, I might even do two a week, but uh, let's just stick to one a week for now. Um, Today, we have the Supra Stan Hope review. And now, as you can see off rip, I don't have the box for these. Uh, I got these off of eBay, and the seller didn't have the box, so he just shipped them. It was kind of funny because they shipped them like wrapped up a whole bunch of times in plastic wrap and then in one of like the regular uh like an amazon envelope and then on the inside they stuffed them with like a whole roll of paper towels so i took the i took all the paper towels out put them in a plastic bag and i put them in my trunk so if you ever in the car with me and you need a napkin or something that's probably where these are going to come from the napkins are going to come from until i use all of them up but i thought that was pretty funny but, I, you know, something a little different here. These are Supers. You don't really hear from Supers too often, especially when it comes to boots. They're usually known for, like, their high top models back in the, I think for me it was in high school when these were really popping off. So around, like, 2010 to 2013-ish when I really seen people wearing Supras. But it's been a while. And I really like this model that they came out with. It was earlier, like, last year. I sent one of my friends, like, the... Uh, pictures of them on Instagram I'm like yeah these are pretty sweet so I, I made sure I, I was gonna cop them but I was gonna wait till they originally or they would go down in price because they're originally around some like 120 or something and they only had like the jungle colorway at first which I liked a lot but then I saw these which are a collab with Machiavelli and I, I couldn't pass them up because I was looking for some orange boots and I know very specific but it's it's cool it's in front of your face now so you speak it into existence and it'll pop up and I got these for like 75 bucks, so I can't complain about that. And since I don't really have the box, um, I'm going to just go straight into the materials, and then we'll go into the sizing and then the arm feet. So uh, meet you at the materials check. Okay, as far as materials go, um, for this one, as you can see at first, the lacing system is pretty cool. They have like the... The actual late, uh, looped eyelets at the bottom, all metal. And then they have like the ones that you, like sort of on the Timberland hiker models that you would have to like uh, wrap around. So I just to just for like viewers sake, I left one like down so you could kind of see it like that. And then I left one laced all the way up. And it makes it take a little bit longer to lace these up and doing that. But these are more winter oriented than some of my other boots like the SFBs or... Um, I mean, primarily the SFBs is the main boots I show. Besides maybe the Palladiums, I guess, that you would have to, the lacelets would go all to the top, but they are lighter. As you can see, um, I'll put one of these down. On the inside, I mean, it just looks black to you guys, but on the inside, it's insulated. So they, they're they they built to kind of keep these warm. And that's what I like about them. Um, I haven't really field tested them too much yet. As you can see in there, I mean, I have the sticker on there, but it says uh, Supra X Machiavelli. It's it's like a softer, uh, almost like a like the inside of a North Face jacket or inside of a winter jacket, fleece material almost. Um, going throughout, we have a leather. This is like a softer leather. It, it's, it's not like, I mean, you can press it and it goes down and you can kind of see like, so you could see the crease in here is really well. It's like a finer leather. And then you have like the suede on the top of the toe box with the perforations in there to give a little breathing room. Um... Like I said, you have the leather all throughout going up with the eyelets are. So that's pretty cool. Uh, black, All these black accents right here, besides the midsole, are like a, a little ASMR. They're like that nylon scuff proof material that the SFBs also has going up. But they have a little bit more padding in there to make them warmer. Um, I wrap the laces around like this so they don't come like that. It was just, like I said, to show off the, the eyelets. Um, the tongue... It's also that, kind of here, that nylon material, but it's also insulated on the other side. Um, it has a cool little tab here. I'll let you guys see that. Boom. Boom. Um, on top of that, I mean, you just have, like, the standard rope boot laces. On the back, like, the heel tab, that's also leather. Very smooth. On top of the perforations on, on each boot, on both sides, actually, they have the perforations with the suede on there. Um, this is a foam, as you can see, it's called like factor foam or whatever they uh, specifically call it. There, factor foam with like a on the pictures, it looks like a green, which is what I thought it was. Even kind of how I'm showing you guys in the camera right now, it may come off as like a a real 
light olive green or dark olive green depending on your color but in person this is black so just to let you guys know if you are uh, finding this model and then it has like the gum bottoms very tough and then I got the cool little uh, crown at the bottom so that's sweet also a little roping in case you're going down a, <laughs> a rappel line or something that's what those are for you put your feet together and rappel down the rope I really like the tread and the pattern on these I haven't yet tried them out now that it's snowing outside since I live in Michigan I'll, I'll give those a try too I didn't want to mess them up too much so that's why I wasn't gonna field test them too much in the snow since these are like a a somewhat more special model than the regular one since this is a collab but I'll definitely give them some wear especially since they are warm also you can see you got some some wording there what does that say for exploration purposes only okay okay I, I struggled a little bit reading there but you got it for exploration purposes only exploration purposes only and that's pretty much it um just go through a quick rundown oh also I forgot about the back on the back you got these cool tabs right here you have the super tab like somewhat like the Levi's tab but then you got the cool um these back tabs double as when you pull the boot on and if you if you don't want to lace them up all the way or you got some extra laces over tending with like these eight inch boots you can tie them all the way around and it's cool because it kind of gives you a a guide for the laces i didn't really do it with this one but you could if you wanted to and on the back of that if you can kind of see it in gray it says machiavelli x supra so that's pretty sweet also you got the little super crown on the side as well um i mean that's pretty much it the construction is really well on the, or really good on these uh, I really like how they look. The orange color complements nice. This is just like a, a regular like Hanes orange t-shirt from like a Walmart or something. More like a highlighter orange. And it still could go with this, but this is more like a, a little bit of a more darker burnt orange color if you're really trying to be specific with it. But it looks fine with this. Okay, now onto the sizing guide. Um, for these, I would recommend just saying true to size on these. Um, for the other boots, the other 8-inch boots that I've reviewed and that I wear constantly, are the Nike SFBs, which for the base models on those, I go up a half a size. For the Palladiums, I tend to stay at my true size, which is 10. And for the Nike Jungle models, I stayed at a 10 as well, since they had like the extra insulation and padding. And since these are more catered towards the winter time and have that extra insulation on the insides and such, I stayed at a 10 and I was safe with that. I still got a little bit of space. You know, it's comfortable even if I wear like a thicker pair of socks. And Overall, I, I can't complain about that. If you're really worried about the installation taking out some space for you, you know, if, if your true size is 10, but for most shoes, you tend to be right at the end. I, I could say get up a half a size, but honestly, just stay at your regular size with these. Um, other than that, any final thoughts that I have? These are uh, more catered towards the winter time. I haven't really ran out there, like I said earlier, just because I don't want to mess them up. I have like other boots, like uh, waterproof Timberlands, the Hellcore ones that I wear when there's really a lot of snow outside or other boots that I have. So these these nicer ones, I tend not to mess them up too much. But you can go through and snow fine with these. Um, they aren't exactly waterproof, but you could get like the spray to make them water repellent a little bit or water resistant. But I, I still wouldn't recommend wearing these and jumping into big puddles and stuff. You'd be fine on like a rainy day going through. But overall, I mean, they're built for the snow, built to keep you warm and they look cool. They're very comfortable as well. I have a wider foot too. So you can see kind of that they are a little bit wider. They're not super wide, but they're not as narrow as like, like the Palladium is. So my foot fits fine in here, even being a wider foot. So I didn't have to accommodate for that in the sizes at all. And overall, I would recommend these boots. I mean, they look really cool. I got compliments on them when I did wear them for one of the photo shoots I did. And they're just, they're very unique. You don't see too many orange boots let alone like orange military base boots like this so it's like it's cool i think super really did a good uh thing with these if i find the other models like the other colors i know they had the original jungle boot colorway and like a yellow and black one that was another collab that they did if i find those <sighs> i dropped one <laughs> if i find those on a good deal i'll probably get those and review them too but i i would definitely recommend these i'll try to put some um good prices for these down in the description below like i said at the start um, I got these from eBay, so they're originally $90, but they offered best offer, and I said, I, uh, came off the bat with $75 offer, and they were like, okay, they accepted that, so I paid like $10 shipping, so overall, $85 for these, and I can't complain, I mean, I can't complain, these are really good boots, good quality, 
and they look nice overall so you know i'll show you how they look on feet uh like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram to see i do have one photo shoot out with these right now but you'll definitely see more now that it's colder out and just you know stay tuned one video every week i'm gonna try to shoot for two as well but i'm back on it back at it again and yeah have a good day have a good week and i'll see you next week Thank <music> you.